us as bully breed owners, pit bull owners, American bully owners, we have a very strong, powerful dog, beautiful dogs, but we got to understand our dogs. And I know a lot of people do not understand aggression or signs of dominance. So right now I'm gonna give you a full list on what to look for if you think your dog is showing any sign of aggression. So keep watching. How's it going? My name is Ruben. If you're new to the channel, this channel is all about the bull breeds, killing the bad stereotypes and becoming better owners. Now, a lot of dog owners, I'm not saying you specifically, but a lot of them do not understand what aggression looks like. It's not always just about growling or barking or nipping. There's a lot more to it. There's actual aggression, there's fear aggression, there's item aggression such as food aggression, now I'm going to give you a full list of what the dogs do when they're starting to show signs of aggression. Some common signs of dominant behavior include guarding their owner from other dogs or people, leash pulling, inappropriately mounting dogs or humans, stealing attention from other dogs, refusing to move off furniture, demanding playtime by putting toys in their owner's lap, they must walk in front of other dogs or owners while on the leash, they're constantly licking, refusing to listen to their owner's commands and respond by growling, jumping, barking, nipping, or other inappropriate behavior. Additionally, they commonly have a high level of food or toy aggression, also known as guarding, causing them to growl, bite, or nip at other animals, children, or owners when they get too close to the items they're guarding. More signs of dominant behavior include blocking people or dogs, barging through doors, demanding attention, protecting of a sleep area, stopping while eating when they're approached, mounting legs on other dogs, approaching another dog from the side and putting his head on the other dog's back or shoulder, inserting himself between you and another person or dog, and lunging at people. Any one item may not turn into a big deal, but it should be monitored. The signs of an animal aggressive dog include staring, excessively low range barking, snarling, growling, and snapping, standing tall, holding ears erect, or carrying the tail high and moving it stiffly from side to side. However, beware, often a dominant aggressive dog will give no sign before biting. Remember that a dominant aggressive dog is likely to attack, retreat without running. Dogs show dominance in a variety of ways, often leading to aggressive behaviors that could cause serious injuries to children or other pets. Any dog owner that notices aggressive behavior in their pet should seek dog training classes to correct this behavior. Dog training classes offers training that could deal with aggressive behavior effectively and in a safe, controlled environment. Despite speculation, dominant behavior is not a normal personality trait of any breed of dog. The several reasons why a dog displays dominant behavior. In many cases, pet owners unknowingly create the behavior by failing to discipline them when they first show signs of dominant behavior towards children or other animals. By failing to discipline them, their behavior gradually escalates. So now that you got the full list on what to look for in aggression in your dog, I want you to really evaluate your dog, okay? Evaluate them for about a week. Keep in mind this list I just gave you and see if your dog does any of this. And if they do, maybe you need to work on some obedience or maybe you need to take your dog to a professional dog trainer that can help correct these aggressive or dominance behaviors, okay? Now leave a comment. Does your dog show any sign of aggression? I'm curious on what your guys' dogs are doing. And if they're showing any aggression, I want to prove that pit bulls and American bullies are not bad dogs and the bull breeds in general. It's time to evaluate ourselves with our dogs and keep it 100% with ourselves, okay? Stop fooling ourselves, stop telling ourselves, our dog's okay, he's friendly, if they're really just begging for help, all right? So this is the reason why I gave you this full list today. Now, if you like this video, smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my pit bull training tips for this YouTube channel. I will see you guys on the next one. I am out.